Hey everyone, I hope that you are doing well. It is GB here from Ink and Babes. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is a bonus cash stuffing video. This video is pretty much unplanned, but I feel it was definitely necessary. I have mentioned before in previous videos that I am going on a vacation to Paris, which I am so excited for. And I actually plan to have a travel binder with me. So essentially, I've had this binder for quite some time and now I'm just kind of, I changed my binder a few times and so this binder is literally just sitting here. So I thought, you know what, let's kind of make ourselves a travel binder. So I wanted to share this with you and maybe it'll inspire you to do the same thing next time you're planning something important in your life. Okay, so here's what I have in my travel binder. I did make this cover page here. This is just cardstock and then it is laminated. The design I made in Canva, so it's very simple. I do have Canva Pro, so I do have some features that you may not have, but I'm sure there are free stuff in Canva that you can use to actually uh, make your own kind of dashboard. Um, I've already printed out all of my um, tickets and like, my everything that I've booked and I have a receipt for or like a booking number for I kind of just insert them into here I like this binder because it has so many different pockets uh, when I have receipts and stuff I can always just kind of just shove them in it there and obviously it has this crocodile print which I absolutely have been loving all right so that is the first dashboard there then we're gonna turn over to this dashboard here and this actually has all of the categories of the cash envelopes that I have in this binder and I need to do a little bit of budget budgeting here so that I kind of know what my total expenditure was for this trip or is going to be for this trip or is expected to be for this trip and how much I've spent so far and how much I have saved and how I'm going to be allocating that across the different categories. Then if you flip over here if you have been subscribed to me for quite some time you would have actually seen this little savings challenge. I've had this for quite some time. I started it and then stopped it and I was doing different things with it. But what I think I want to do now is every time that I go to like a new country off of this list, I'm just going to color it in. So, so far over the last, I think two years, I have, with the exception of Germany, I've, I mean, I have been to Germany. Well, I guess I'd include it, but Germany was actually, I first visited Germany like over a decade ago um, when I first started dating my husband. So, because he's half German. But anyway, uh, over the last two years, I have visited Netherlands. I visited Belgium. I'm currently living in Ireland. I have been to Malta and I've been to Italy. And now we're making our way to France. So once we're done with this trip and all goes well and we come back safely, um, then I can color, the, color this in and then I will know what is next. So definitely, if you see a country on here that you would be interested in me visiting, maybe you can help me plan my next EU travel. Uh, I think I want this to be like a five to 10 year kind of challenge of how many countries I can go to. All right, so that is there just to remind me of where I've been and where I would like to go. And then we're gonna move over, and this is old. When I first started playing this challenge, what I was doing was I was just using a random generator and letting it give me a new place. And then whatever the degrees was, I was saving that amount. So like Greece was the first one. And that was the degree, it was 21 degrees and I was saving 25 euros, but I didn't play it anymore. But I think this might be a sign that this is actually the next country I wanna visit. But we'll see how it goes. Now you would remember that we got some new envelopes from Shein. I did do a Shein haul. So these are all the new envelopes. These are the frosted ones and the black ones. And I thought they would actually be perfect for this. So in total, I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 categories. And so I also do have 10 uh, cash envelopes here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, and 10. So those are the 10 envelopes there that we're gonna be cash stuffing in today's video. And then lastly, I'm actually gonna be doing something really exciting and I hope it works out. Now, this is just the plan. It might not actually work because, you know, with traveling, you just never know. I wanna do a savings challenge while I am in Paris and I actually want to kind of record it 
and like share with you a, a little little hints of 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 Paris um, with you. So essentially, each one of these things that I see, I'm gonna roll one or two dices, maybe one dice, and save that amount. Now I don't yet know where this money is going to come from but if I don't spend something or if the budget allows me if I allocate a certain budget per day and I have something left over I want to roll the dice and kind of play this so I'm going to be looking for the Eiffel Tower uh something to do with France if I see a bike with I don't know flowers on it if I go to a bakery store and I eat a croissant uh, if I see the word Paris somewhere or I see a, get a stamp or something, you know, I, I just want it to be kind of fun. And I think it would be really cool to kind of show cash stuffing someplace new. I think that would be really cool. But again, I don't know what my schedule is going to be like. I might be rushing. I might be chasing the bus or chasing the running through the airport. I really, do, really don't know. But I have this here in case I decide out spontaneously. You know what? Let's roll the dice at the Eiffel Tower. How cool would that be? Right, okay, so that's just the yeah, either. And then this is some more like tickets and stuff that I bought. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to actually prepare the budget for this. I'm just gonna put this right here. But before we can actually even prepare the budget, we need to actually see how much cash we have available. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through my sinking fund so i'm just gonna slide this binder over here and i'm gonna bring my sinking funds binder that i was able to set up um, originally i had my sinking funds with my saving challenges in this binder here but now it was getting too thick i was i couldn't close it properly and i just decided to just get another binder and put the sinking funds in here okay so um we're now gonna go through my sinking funds and we're gonna unstuff the cash that I have allocated for uh, this vacation because we've been saving for this trip for uh, quite some time. So as you can see, here is what my sinking funds is looking like. I have placed them into new envelopes. These were the regular envelopes that had the zipper and I used my paper cutter and I just took that extra piece off because I didn't want it because it was gonna make my binder a little bit too too bulky so i can see why you need it though because you see how this is opening here so it might actually just fall out but i'm not worried about that right now i don't plan to move this binder all right so kids gifts we're not touching birthdays we're not touching christmas we are not touching famcation we're not touching well there's nothing in there entertainment has doesn't have any money in it oh date night actually at the time of me recording this I'm just getting back from having a date night with my husband. So, and we, I, I, we, I bought some dinner. And so this money was actually, I used my debit card to purchase food and drinks. So I actually need to update this. And we are now going to remove the 50. And this will now bring our balance down to zero. So the funds from date night is now going to go towards my vacation trip simply because I've already spent this um, off of my debit card and the funds that's on my debit card would have actually been used towards my uh, vacation anyway. So date night is now empty finally because this money has possibly been in here for the last eight weeks and we have not done anything. So I'm glad that is done. Okay, so basically the money that's in vacation is what we've been saving up for this trip. I don't think there is any other uh, place that we're gonna pull any money from because these are all assigned to specific um, things. So yeah, so basically vacation is what we're gonna be unstuffing as well as date night. Okay, so this is the banner for the uh, vacation and I love that I can just slip this in and if I change my mind I can take this out put another in and then I don't have to worry about having a permanent label so right now in vacation 
we do have some cash and we have this so i had to in total we saved 565 so i think last month we saved 365 and then during the month of june when i first started cash stuffing we saved 200 but i had to cover the hotel uh, we paid for the hotel so that was the 250 that came off my debit card so the cash has gone back to my account to replenish that and then i also have another 200 on my account that i also use to pay for tickets for our entertainment and some activities um, so this 200 has also been spent as well so essentially i need to update this and i need to take out the next 200 because that was i just booked all of our activities that we're going to be doing um the eiffel tower the louvre museum um and so that brings this down to 115 so that's actually how much I should have in cash. So that's 50, 70, 90, 110, 15. And this 115 is also gonna go towards our trip. So I'm also going to take this off and that's gonna leave vacation empty because I kinda need food, right? So essentially all of this has already been spent and booked for this trip. So we're just gonna take that out and I'm actually just gonna put this back into my my little thing right here. Plus the 100s and 250s. 500, 500, okay, so that's where the 250s are. Right, so. That everything has been saved and now it is time for it to be spent so now that we've updated this we're now done with the money that we need to unstuff from my sinking funds for this trip so I'm done with this binder for the minute okay so now we're gonna go back to the bind this binder here okay and uh, we're now going to kind of allocate everything. So flights has been paid. So we're just gonna write here that we already paid this. Transportation, money needs to be allocated for transportation. And like I said, let's see how much cash that we have here so that we can make sure how our budget set up. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 160, 165. So this is 165 in physical cash. And I also have 300 on my personal savings account that I have saved towards this. So in total, the budget for everything else is going to be 465. So what we're gonna do is for transportation, we are going to allocate, uh, we're gonna allocate 60 euros. For ground transportation, and this is like for the train. So, um, you know, this is just to get around Paris mainly. And we're gonna do like, I think it's 10 euros for an all day ticket per person. And since we're gonna be there for a couple of days, this should be enough. So now we're just gonna take away 60 from this budget. And that leaves us with 405. Uh, accommodation already has been paid for. And now for food and drinks, I am going to allocate um, two hundred and ten for two persons for a couple of days. So we're gonna take two ten from this. That leaves us with one ninety five. Um, then for activities, um, we've booked a few activities already. 
So I'm just going to put something very nominal here in case there's something last minute that we want to do because we've booked about three or four activities and then there's a lot of free things that you can do as well. So I'm going to take 20. That leaves us with 175. For entertainment, um, I'm just going to allocate uh, 65 for a couple of days. Again, we have we have activities booked already. Uh, we have some activities already paid. I'm just going to write here that I have activities paid. So yeah, we paid like a couple hundred dollars for some activities to get done. Um, so what was I supposed to deduct just now? I think entertainment. So for entertainment, we're going to take away 65. That leaves us with 110. Um, for shopping and souvenirs, maybe there's something Parisy that I want to bring back. Uh, French. So we're going to allocate 30 for that. That's 30. That leaves us with 80. Free trip expenses. This is like if we need to take a taxi or like a train to the airport. If we need to buy anything last minute, like toiletries or I don't know, just anything before we get go on the trip, uh, we're gonna do thirty towards that. Um, that leaves us with fifty, and then I'm going to do uh, miscellaneous for the fifty. And that's gonna take away the last fifty here. Okay, so that is how we're allocating the entire funds. Now, for emergency funds, in my sinking funds right now, I do actually have money in my emergency funds. And that this is for any emergency, whatever. So we do have a credit card that we're taking. And if we do have an emergency, we're just going to use the credit card and we'll take the funds out of emergency funds to cover that. So that's miscellaneous. Um, medical, yeah, so currently in my emergency fund right now, that's 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, so that's 200. So, uh, you know, this is not if we run out of money and we decide to splurge, that's not what emergency fund is. This is essentially if we run into some problems. We have our credit card and we'll use the credit card and we will replace the, the funds um, with that emergency fund. So I'm not, I don't actually need to fund that since the money is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that this is already paid. Right. Okay. So that is the breakdown for what we're going to be spending. And again, we plan to use, um, a credit card to kind of cover everything here so basically I need to put a grand total to the bottom here of everything that I have allocated for so that's 60 plus 210 plus 20 plus 65 plus 30 plus 30 and plus 50 so in total for this trip in terms of the physical cash that I need to have on hand uh, we have a budget of 400 and 65 now this is not actually how much we are this is how much we're planning to spend but again we've already covered flights and that was about almost 200 euros and accommodation was another 350 euros and i think those and we also covered um some ground transportation as well and that was another 60 euros so this is an additional 60 euros for additional transportation, okay? So essentially we, we've all, already spent almost over, almost a thousand euros so far for everything that we've pre-booked. So this is everything else in addition to that. Now, what I wanna do is this cash will, will you be used to replenish the credit card that we use. So I don't plan to physically carry all of this cash. I don't want to be walking around with cash. So it to, for, for me to be reminded of these amounts, I'm actually going to cash stuff some prop money into these envelopes so that I know 
you know, as I spend, I'm going to put the receipt in here and then it'll let me know what's depleted. So I feel like doing it this way, I can physically know that I'm within budget. So the first thing that we're going to do here is for transportation, we need to put in 60 and I'm going to put in, um, it's going to cost about 20 euros per day. So I'm going to take three prop 20s and use that. So that's 20, 40, 60 for transportation. So we're just gonna move to, so this first one here is for flights and this is already done. You've already paid for flights. So we're gonna go to the second envelope and our second envelope is what we're gonna use for our transportation. So I'm just gonna put that in there. All right, accommodation is paid so we can skip this envelope. And so for food and drinks, we need to put in 210. And basically this is for, I'm dividing this into six meals because I've already booked a meal already for one of the days. We're getting in late one night. So essentially we're not gonna have a, a big meal. We're just probably gonna have snacks. And then for the other nights, uh, for the other days and nights, I have divided it up. So essentially it's gonna be 35 for six meals. So basically that is 35 times six. Oh, wait, 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 35 times six. And that gives me the 210. So I'm gonna do, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna divide it up. Um, that's 20, 20, 20, a 20, another 20. And I need one more 20 as well. Then I'm gonna put a 10 and then a five for each of these. So that's 10 there, that's 10 there, that's 10 there, 10 there, 10 there, and one more 10 there. And now I just need to add in um, the fives. So that's a five there, a five there, five there, and the last five there. So that's how I feel like it's gonna be budgeted. So 20, 30, that's the 35. That's for the first meal. The second meal, the third meal, the fourth meal. This may seem we weird and pretty boring to somebody, but if you do it like this, I feel like it's gonna help you. All right, so that is for this envelope for food. So 210. All right, so food, drinks, and now we move on to activities. Activities is gonna get 20. So we're gonna put 20 in there for our activities. And then entertainment needs to have 65. So I'm gonna do a 20, uh, I'm gonna do three tens. One, two, and three. And then I'm gonna do three fives. One, two, three. And that should give us a uh, 65. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65. And that's gonna give us the money that we need for entertainment okay so next up we have uh shopping and souvenirs so i need to put in 30 for that so i'm gonna do something really small i'm gonna do a 10 uh, two tens and then i'm gonna do uh two fives for this one 10 10 15 and 20 and i know it doesn't matter because i'm not actually using the cash but i feel like having it small well i i feel like i can look small like i'll see something for five and i'll be like oh yeah i have five so okay so that was shopping at Superdare, and then pre-trip expenses is going to be 30 so um i think this is going to be like for you know train and stuff so i'm just gonna do uh two tens and i'm also gonna do two fives for this as well 
10, 10, and two fives. That's 30. And that's going to go into pre-trip expenses. And then we have miscellaneous, which is going to be 50. And that's going to be the last envelope because this one is emergency fund. So for the 50, uh, we're going to do a 20. Uh, we're going to do two tens, and we're also going to do two fives for this as well. So that's one, two, three. All right, so 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. And that's going to go into miscellaneous. Okay, so our budget has been set for this vacation. Uh, we have some physical cash, and we also have a debit card where the real, the cash is, for the budget for this is. And then we also going to be using the credit card to make all of our purchases so we can get rewards and what's not. And then we'll transfer the funds from the debit card to the credit card so that there's no long gap between when the card gets paid off so that we can minimize paying any interest or anything like that. And I feel like doing it like this, I feel pretty secure. And I feel like hopefully we can, you know, stick to the budget. I feel like I'm gonna, Food and drinks might be an area that I overspend on because obviously if I see croissants and I see macarons and, you know, like pastry shops with delicious stuff, I might just go a little bit overboard. But again, I do have some extra cash in the event that I need extra money, but I want to stick to this specific budget. Okay, guys, so this is going to go back into this envelope here because this money is going to go back to the credit card to cover whatever expenses that we incur. And I can put this away. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little quick, you know, flip through of my travel binder. And um, you have an idea of how you can create your own. I am ready to go. I have my saving challenge here and I have my dices and these are my dices are going to be going my traveling dices are going to be going with me with my travel binder okay hope you guys enjoyed this quick video thank you for sharing this moment with me I feel so happy and excited I'm ready to go um, I will see you in my next video and it's probably going to be 10 or Tuesday or 5 or Friday thanks for watching guys I will see you in the next one bye